Hi everyone, this is Susie from CreatedToCraft.com and I have a video today, I just want to share a few things that I made. Um, these are all things, uh, three of them are ultra tins and one of them is an ultra jewelry box. The actual finished ones are for sale in my Etsy store but I also sell all these tins and the boxes where you can do your own. The first one is a, I love this tin, it's a three inches by three inches square and it's um, four inches high. And um, I did it with uh, Seven Gypsies, their travel collection. Anyway, I, it's papered all the way around. You can see that. And then what I also did was I attached, or I, I stuck on this airmail washi tape all the way around also. It looks really cute. Just kind of added a little more to it. And then uh, this is a ticket I punched out and just put 2014. And here's a little, this is a little uh, metal tag. I just put uh, alcohol ink around it to grunge it up, and it's held on with a, a pin. I believe it's a Tim Holtz pin. On the top, it says Special Memories, because inside I made a little mini album that's really cute, and it fits in there perfectly. Uh, more of the paper, it's a map, some buttons. Oh, this, this button's cool. You probably can't see it, but it's, it looks crackled. It's kind of it, vintage. And then this is a Prima Metal uh, flower that I stuck on there. It's uh, bronze looking, so I love that, that part of it. Now you open it up, and there's the album inside. And this is made with the Seven Gypsies paper as well. And I, it just ties with this cotton rug yarn that I attached to it. Or I didn't attach it, but it, it ties with that. And then right here is a... a uh, this little, it's a Junkin' Gem from Marion Smith. And I just thought it looked really cute because if you're taking pictures, you can put pictures in here and it's just a cute idea to have the little camera. And this opens up, this mini album, it's like an accordion style. Probably can't see the whole thing, but I'll show you each little page. And the first page, this is it. And these, these little tags are clipped in here. This is actually a little mini file folder you can stick pictures inside there. Just love this paper. I grunged everything up really well. And there's another, it's a passport paper right there. And I'll just clip this back in. Um, I did all the pages. These, this is all washi tape that I, I, I added to the pages. And although they're stuck together, I, I made separate little, um, I don't know what you would call them, but just little tabs or little things I made that hold the paper together. And then there's that page that says, uh, it's the Atlantic Ocean, but it's just part of the map. And then this page here, there's a little ticket on the bottom. And this one here has a big Tim Holtz journaling tag I stuck on it, which you can add more pictures, journal on the card. It says, what a day. That's a stamp I put on there, a stamp that I have. i stick that back up. These are all... These pages are all made with a Tim Holtz uh, large stamp uh, die, and I just cut them out, and it looks just looks really nice that way. And this one here, it's just a, a tag from the collection and a little Tim Holtz label I stuck on there. And then this is a cute little ticket from the collection, more washi tape, and these are little tiny, tiny little Tim Holtz brads that I put on there. It just really looks cute, finishes it off. And then this page here. It's another piece of map, and of course there's more washi tape. I use different types. This is the airmail one. Here's another little mini clip that holds on another little mini file folder. Add more pictures to it. And then I put, uh, this is also uh, a charm here. I believe it was from Marion Smith also, and it's a hot air balloon. And it says, life is good. And I'll just click this little tab back in here. And then on the back, there's a little Tim Holtz journey ticket that says story, which you can tell your story in here with pictures of the little journey you went on. And then this ties back up and goes right back in the tin. Anyway, I love that, and I love that the album goes inside that altar tin. And here's another tin I did. This I did with the Marion Smith paper. Um, it's um, Mad Tea Party. And I fussy cut this little teapot with tea 
with the little teacups and the little Mad Hatter hat. And it says it's always tea time. I don't know if you can see that or not. The paper in the background with the little clock, it's popped up off of some more paper. All distressed. And then the little charm that hangs off of it. It's a little clock and a little teapot. Very cute. And it's all wrapped in the paper. And inside, this is also for sale on the Etsy store. I, oh, I have uh, some stash tea, which comes with it. Uh, I think there's five packages in here. Anyway, this is Christmas Eve tea. And oh my gosh, it's, it is so delicious. My grandkids even love it. It's cinnamony flavored tea. And, uh, you, you know, I just thought I'd stick some tea in there for whoever, whoever does get this can have that little special extra gift. And that's that tin. I also sell these tins in my store. Oh, by the way, these tins are three inches in diameter, and they're actually um, uh, two and one eighth inch high. And they're nice little size tins. And then I did another tin. It looks like a Band-Aid tin. And I altered that. It's actually a sewing kit. And I did this with Marion Smith Garment District paper. Um, and uh, I love that paper line. I love, I actually carry Marion Smith paper, but I absolutely love her paper. If I didn't, I wouldn't carry it. Anyway, this is a little pin that holds on these little scissors that I colored in alcoholing to make, to look old. Little measuring tape, which actually comes in the collection. Um, this is a, a dress form, and I cut that out, added some liquid pearls, and I put uh, glossy accents over it, added a little lace to the bottom of it. Here's some little safety pins and some buttons. And then goes around to the back. And then there's uh, some little tickets, like for the cleaners. And I just used the Tim Holtz mini stapler and stapled those on. And then the top, there's another little ticket. It says LP Coats and another ticket under that and the paper. It's really cute. And then inside, well, there's I stuck paper there. But this is so cute. I made this. This comes with it, of course. This is, here's some tags stuck together with the Tim Holtz clothespin. More tags from the collection. Just stick that in there. But then I made this little sewing kit. It's so cute. I made it with uh, the same paper, the Garment District. And I used, I believe, the Tim Holtz die for the matchbook. And then it opens up. And then there inside is your little sewing kit. It's got buttons. It's got safety pins. It's got two needles. And then down here you have your thread, which is stapled in with the little mini stapler. This looks so cute. And then, of course, all the, the paper. But you could actually use this sewing kit. You could take that thread off, the needles, the buttons. Just I just stuck them on with tacky tape. You can pop them right off. Your little safety pins. If you have a little accident, you need to pin something real quick. Anyway, so that just goes back in there. There's the back of it, and it just fits right inside here. It's just so cute. I love it. The last thing I want to show you is I also carry these jewelry boxes in my Etsy store, and I altered this one. I, I mean, I, to me, boxes, you alter them. Um, even if you're giving jewelry, you don't have to go this far, but this would make a, a beautiful gift for a bride if you wanted to get her something, a piece of jewelry. And... Um, I used, oh my gosh, I'm not sure what paper I used, but it's it says love all over it. It's very pretty paper. Then I cut out uh, with, uh, I'm not sure, I think it's a Stampin' Up! stamp, these butterflies. And what I did is I just completely glittered them, just so pretty, and put the little Stampin' Up! pearls on there. And then this is, uh, I think, Satan Crystals. And it's it looks like wedding, so I it's white and silver, so I put it on the... The box as well. I put a doily on here, a little doily, and these pretty flowers. These are prima flowers and uh, leaves. And then here I added some little crystals and this little charm. I don't know if you can read it, but it says to love and to cherish. I don't know if you can read it there, but it's so it's so pretty. This would be awesome to give something to a bride, a piece of jewelry, like I said. Oh, I forgot, there's another. The little charm is also, here, sorry. There's also a little heart charm underneath there, too. And I put bling all the way around the box. And that's the lid. And then here you can see this other butterfly right there. 
So you open it up and there's, you know, the little cotton piece for your jewelry and the lid just goes back on. Anyway, I just thought this would be so pretty to give something to a bride at a bridal shower or even at a wedding. And this box is also for sale in my Etsy shop as well as all these other tins. And um, you can buy the blank boxes too. So I think I sell them in groups of five, very reasonably priced. And I'll put the link below. So thank you again for watching and until next time, bye-bye.